Wisconsin Broadcasters Association Hall of Famer Bob Baird ruled Milwaukee's airwaves in the 60s and 70s. He spoke with countless musicians and celebrities over the years. Bob collected remarkable recordings of these encounters, which he's now sharing with the public. Here's Bob. This Canadian actor was most famous for his role as Montgomery Scott Scotty, the chief engineer on the Starship Enterprise in the television and film series Star Trek. He did appear in other TV shows and movies, but limited due to being typecast. James Doohan, in real life, was with a Canadian infantry division that landed at Juneau Beach on D-Day. He was accidentally hit by six rounds of fire from the gun of a Canadian sentry. A bullet to his chest was stopped by a cigarette case given to him by his brother. One bullet hit his right middle finger, which had to be amputated. He would conceal that hand in the movies, sometimes using a flesh-colored glove. Duhan was part of a radio group, the Neighborhood Playhouse, which included Leslie Nielsen and Tony Randall. Did James use an accent when he played Scotty? He'll answer that question. Because of the engineer character he played on Star Trek, many students pursued careers in engineering. The Milwaukee School of Engineering presented Duhan with an honorary degree in engineering. Hello. Good morning. Is this Scotty? Yeah, hi. <laughs> James Doohan, uh, the actor who plays Scotty and the in the Star Trek films. This is your wake-up call, James. All right. Well, I've been awake for quite a while now. <laughs> you know. You're used to getting up early, I'm sure. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. How's everything going? Hey, just great. I understand you're going to the Oscars tonight. Oh, yeah. We're having a special <laughs> viewing here of, of the Oscars with uh, all sorts of gorgeous people. Oh, that's great. Ken and Barbara Oscar in Springfield, Virginia. We talked to them earlier this morning. Oh, are, uh, having a, they, had a, they had a contest there in town, and uh, they're going to, uh, it, they've invited, I guess, 200 guests. Uh, obviously, they can't have them at their house, so they're going to have them at the hotel. And uh, June Allison is going to be there, Donald O'Connor, and, of course, James Doohan. Right. Uh, Scotty, what, what's happening in your life? You got any uh, new Star Trek films in the works? Or? Well, uh, yeah, Star Trek uh, Five is going to be out on uh, June 9th. Oh, great. So, uh, you know, and that's not too far away. You yeah. know, when it gets right down to it, we only have April and May and uh, and a week or so of June to get rid of. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, uh, I always thought that the accent that you had as Scotty in the uh, in the Star Trek films was real. Oh, well, it is real. <laughs> it's real. God, I'm, this, uh, this isn't uh, uh, a robot talking, you know. <laughs> Where are you from originally, James? I was born in Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, 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 conceived in Ireland and born in Vancouver. Do you have any predictions for the Oscars tonight? Uh, I think uh, Dustin Hoffman is going to get it. Yeah, yeah, and of course Rain Man, the, the film, no, no doubt about that. Well, yeah. 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 So uh, that's uh, that's those are me thoughts on it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be? Who else is uh, joining you tonight besides June Allison and Donald O'Connor? Any more uh, movies? Uh, Gloria Dehaven. Oh. And uh, a lot of other gorgeous people. Oh, that sounds some great. Some of whom I have uh, seen. Uh, um, I just can't remember their names. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. Can you give us a little insight into Star Trek Number Five? Well, I tell you what. Uh, it's a very fast action uh, movie. And uh, that's about all the insight you're going to get, except that they, uh, they're they kind of, uh, uh, I think uh, Bill Shatner and our producer, uh, Bill, of course, directed it. Uh, I, I think they're they're a little thrilled with it. So, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's just hope that uh, uh, it's going to be as thrilling as I think they think it is. Isn't it amazing how Star Trek just goes on and on and on and people just continue to flock in? Well, I used, to, I used to consider it amazing up until about uh, three or four years ago, I guess, but uh, or five or six years ago. But now, I, uh, you know, it's just a standard fare now. Well, I tell you, you certainly have a lot of fans. Oh, and, uh, yeah. They yeah. Got, continues to grow. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Thank you for listening to Bob Berry's Unearthed Interviews. Be sure to subscribe and rate our podcast on iTunes or wherever you find your podcasts. You can find all the episodes at wisconsinbroadcastingmuseum.org. Check out Bob Berry's book, Rock and Roll Radio Milwaukee. Book sale proceeds support Angels Kids Fund and Donate Life Wisconsin. 
The preceding program was made possible by a generous contribution from Terry Bond.